And I am back for another couple hours of this. Yeah, I had a good break. Uh, I just went and uh, had cereal for dessert. Because I'm an adult and I can eat cereal at midnight if I want to. Then I uh, just kind of laid down for a few minutes and uh, closed my eyes. And man, I fall asleep quickly on the weekends. I am bummed that tomorrow is uh, Monday. In fact, let me, um, let me get some of that... Uh, that chill gummy bear action going on here. No, just take the edge off. Anyway, we're in section three, the Veil of Alphataria. Uh, both of these sections have all four elements among them. Uh, we'll clear both of them, and then starting the next year, we'll be able to go to the uh, fourth section. Let's enter Tita. I don't know what Tita is. I know what the other place is. I know the manor. That's a dungeon I've been looking forward to, because I remember it's one that uh, my friends really liked, and I really liked the music there. The sun once smiled on this village. More than any other. But one day, their crystal's blessing faded. The villagers eagerly awaited their caravan's return. But for them, the crystal would never shine again. Oof. It is said That's rough, that buddy. not a single one of them tried to escape. All stood fast, waiting for the caravan, hoping to the very end. After hearing that tale, I felt the weight of my burden like never before. So yeah, too stubborn to leave. So they all died. They were not too kawaii to die. Tita village. Oh, excuse me. Let's equip the other one. What does this do if I try charging it? It's just a- it doesn't have a charge attack listed for it. The sunniest village anywhere. I mean, of, of course. Look at this big boy. pretty quickly maybe it's because um the, the other dungeon i did was a new one that spawned so it was like the potential to do that one earlier wasn't there whereas this one i could have conceivably have reached this dungeon in year one
gravity worth it? Nah, not really. Gravity's worth it only really against flying foes. Now, Holy would be good here. for an element. I don't know if you actually have to, uh... Like, activate these for them to take effect. Why not, right? Why not? Designed for an iron armor. Cool. I think I may have missed something at the beginning. Let me go back. Miss that. Cover each okay. All right, we came down from over here. Okay, yep, I did miss something. There's a chest over there. chest out the situation. I'll see myself out now. Thank you. removal would be nice. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, Raze as the one that has all the combinations. Why not? Uh, 
again, they, they when they updated it, they didn't take into consideration modern controllers. And I think part of the reason behind that is because this game is on iOS and Android too. And I think they wanted to keep it like so that no system gets an advantage over the other. And that's kind of upsetting. Because I guess people had to be ready to, uh... People had to be ready to use the, uh, the touchscreen. Even though anyone playing games on iOS really should have a dedicated controller for it. It's also kind of pointless, like, going to dead ends, unless because you could see if there's an icon there for a chest or an enemy. Ashura, that's a strength plus one. It's interesting because there is technically a cap to how strong you can make your character if you get every, uh... Everything in the game. I also don't fully understand the element system here. I think there's something to it I'm not getting. Because, like, what's the point of activating them? Three days until the caravan returns. Let's give them a warm welcome. Interesting. Oh, you know what? Lot of fire, worm antenna. Oh, I'm not liking this. Fyra. You know, I always said Fira, but I guess Fyra makes a lot more sense, huh? Twenty gill. That's what you get in a chest in this game. You get that little gill. Ugh.
That's weird. This one didn't grow back. Interesting. Oh, wait. Could have swore that would have been a movable entrance. I know for a fact there's a town very late in the game with a movable nest that you can't reach until like three or four years go by. And it's all the way at the ass end of the map, so it's like, you're not gonna see it for a while. You're not even gonna get to that point until close to the end of the game. And then you have to get, make your way over there multiple times. This, this, come on. That, that had to have been a movable spot. Oh, there was a pot down there. <laughs> I didn't see that. Good throw. Just... Really, Zai? Come on. Is this not for this spot? Is that what I'm trying to... Is that what I'm being told here? Oh! It's covered in... F Ugh, fucking vines. Chocobo pocket. Oh, that's another slot. That's like a level 2 slot. So I have the Moogle pocket and the Chocobo pocket. Which is weird because, as far as I can tell, there's no Chocobo in this game. That's probably the artifact I'm gonna end up taking.
This dungeon's annoying. Having to constantly break that membrane shit is weird. Okay, you can move cure. Do something. look destructible, but they are not. Okay, yeah, we're back where we were. Alright, so we've gone, we, we've gone in a rather flat circle, just like time. just did it, like, without having to move the thing, and it didn't work. That doesn't work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Gloves, great, can't use it. anything. I think I definitely missed something up at the top on the other side. So we'll head back over there real quick. Also, it is getting kind of hot in my room. I might have to uh, turn the AC on. This is actually the first night in a while that I've streamed without the uh, AC on fan. I've just had it off the entire time, so you, you probably won't know. You probably... If you listen to my other streams, you'd notice that uh, there's like a, a low hum in the background. That's uh, not the case right now. The, uh, the air conditioner's off, which I will be remedying after this uh, dungeon's over. Mage Masher. That took four whacks. I'm wondering if doing the combo of three attacks does more damage. for this. 
See, I did that. How did that happen? Like, why Why did I was I able to do that from the menu? Whatever. Look at house. Awesome. What is it? Armstrong. Oh god. Remember how much trouble I had with the house in FF7 Remake? It's gonna be a nightmare. It's, it's literally a mech. Getting some distance on it. Uh, decent amount of damage. Dundara is better. D or sorry, Dundara, as they probably say. Wait. I don't have to re-have anything shit. So now I can't do that. Man. No, no. Nope, it completely reflects thunder. I mean, I'm just gonna whack it, honestly, probably. Not a very aggressive attacker, all things considered. Just call me the home wrecker because I scrapped that bitch. What was that? What was that crackle right there?
Hey, I'm going to head out. I could just auto set that to yes. Here you go, Capo. All right, the air conditioner. Oh, another letter from my brother. Oh, amazing. Another vegetable seed you sent? We already planted some. Do you want us to take them out and plant the new one? Oh. Don't bother. Here, have a, um... Have a strange liquid. You guys like that. I've got your reply, Capo. So long, Capo. That's a lot of damage. Oh, right. Uh, where's the chocobo pocket? Chris, magic plus three. That's pretty good, but I uh, gotta be honest. Probably want to go with the chocobo pocket, just because I already have the moogle pocket. Tita Village. They say that mer Blech. They say that the mer tree spouted in Tita after the village fell to ruin. The tree grew from the hopes of people waiting for the caravan to return home, but at the same time, those hopes also gave rise to Armstrong. Now I understand why caravans try to avoid this place. So I still got a few storylines I haven't started. Like, each one of those question marks is essentially another storyline to look into. Moshet Manor. Fire and water. And there's a trip here. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna go turn my air conditioner on. It's on, and it's on fan. So it'll be a little cooler in here. Actually, you know what? Give me one more second. Okay, we're good. I have maximized the cool factor uh, without having to turn my... Fucking air conditioner is the noisiest fucking thing in this whole house, and I hate it. If I turn on the fan, it's like, you would hear it right away. Anyway, we're going to Mashat Manor, which is a dungeon that I remember really liking. Uh, other people play through it. Has good music. So he ordered his Tonberry chefs to make dinner right away. But when Maggie awoke from her nap, she was furious to find the table bare. How dare you forget my dinner? She bellowed at her husband. Jack knew the trouble he was in. So he demanded the chefs make great haste. But as always, they took their own 
Good time. Yes, indeed. Yeah, the story here is interesting because it's actually like people just living in this manner. No, you know what? Take the Phoenix down off. We don't need it right now. Stone Rays. Again, the music. I love the music here. It's so good. <laughs> Where's my dinner? Get back to the kitchen! Yeah. Little pest. Off with you! Yeah, yeah it's implied that these monsters are still, like... Not good people, I guess. Okay, it's odd that that didn't trigger. They're more sentient than the other monsters, which is interesting. So the Tonberry Chefs follow the same rules as normal Tonberries, aside from the massive damage output. They stab you and then you get stunned. Oh, interesting, slow. Yeah, you know what, let's keep slow on. That'll probably help me out a bit. Nothing else here, I guess. Oh, is it waiting for, um... Is, is the symbol changing? I think it's changing elements, that's why. chocobo pocket it does take effect here though like because i definitely have another pocket one two three four five six seven yeah i'm gonna sneeze again unbelievable one sec
There's definitely something in my nose that's causing that to happen. Now maybe I better keep those on just to be safe. Can we turn those off? That's something I would like to do. Round corn. Oh, my favorite's change, huh? Interesting. Can't change those right now. Those are all fine. Battle options. Position marker on... Wait. This, this menu is not very intuitive. Chats, don't need a display name, character player, invite notification, cross... Okay. Yeah, so we can't turn those off. But I can do this. Oh, that removes a little thing below me. Hey, Izzy. Thanks for subscribing, as always. Let's turn the minimap on. Keep the position marker off, though. There we go. Now I don't have that thing below me all the time. Thank. Thank. Thank you for crown. Hyper crown. Perfect. Thank you for hyper muscles. find a hole under the table. Hell yeah. I love exploring strange holes. Hello, Kapo. Kapo. Stamp me, buddy. Yeah, one more for that one. How do you keep your pom-pom from overgrowing, then? You would think that they would just ask the chocobo what their deal is. Since it, you know, isn't that hard to, uh, talk to them in this universe. They seem to be fairly common. And yet people are like, what mysterious creatures? It's like, they're all over the place. Same with the Yukes. They're like, oh, the Yukes are weird. Their bodies are, like, not real. And it's like, why don't you just ask them if you think that's the theory? They probably know if their bodies are real or not. They could take off their own helmets. Or maybe they can't. Who knows? Oh no, these aren't element-based, these are race-based. You have to wait until it matches your race.
cherry cluster. Walk up there, but there's like no point to it. Okay. I'm wondering if all those spots have like purpose when you do like the second and third cycle, but I don't know, man. idea what's going on. Uh, I'm beating up Tonberries. For no reason. Like, literally, I... Well, the whole point is that I'm going around the world trying to get these little drops of, like, that liquid that's in that chalice right there. Um, and there's a tree that has that liquid here. But it's also... This house is also belongs to a bunch of monsters. And, uh... I'm literally just going in and beating them up for the hell of it. A Tonberry Chef just like hiding there. Here's the fire element. I'm playing single player, so I have Mog with me carrying this. If you play multiplayer, you have to have one of your party members carry the chalice. So it gets a lot more strategic in multiplayer, because it's like one person's always going to be carrying the chalice. Otherwise, you have to put it down and fight within the circle, or else you're going to take damage. Because if, if I move outside that circle that's around me, uh, my health starts dropping. Because it's all, it's all poison. That's just how the entire world is. I think this dungeon is actually you have to kill everyone in order to uh, finish, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think once you're done, the, the boss shows up in the main room. I was wondering if this said single player. I've only heard of the multiplayer. This is the single player. Like, normally, when I walk into a dungeon, I'm usually carrying the chalice like this, and I'll have to put it down. But if you're playing single player, you have Mog with you who could just carry it. But he does have limitations. Wait a minute, what? Read. Long ago, there was no miasma, nor monsters. Our folk were blessed with the crystal's aura. There is kind of a combo system with the attacks, but I'm not very good at it. Like, I can hit up to three times. Soon after the coming of Miasma, terrible fiends began to appear. Let's just get a little lore here. There's actually... The story in this game is interesting because a lot of it's told through optional scenes. Like, when I'm on the road, I'll just randomly get a scene with, like, part of a story plot. Like a, like a story, because there's multiple stories going on. And it's kind of open-ended, because you'll just randomly run into plot points instead of hitting them at certain, like, dungeons. Trees of Myrrh began to yield their due only after Miasma had deluged the world. Deluged the world. Oof.
That mallet is very you, by the way. Yes, the chocobo mallet. That's actually one of the two DLC uh, sets. There's a dark set, and then the choco and then the Moogle set. And uh, I bought both of them just so I could have the extra weapons. I don't think there's any chocobo in this game, though. There's a chocobo item, but I haven't seen any. My caravan's not being pulled by them. You have these, like, giant, like, elephants that pull your caravan. Who's that? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Alloy. That's a new item. Oh yeah, you don't get to keep... Any magic you pick up in a dungeon is just for that dungeon. You don't get to keep it. Uh, I have only gotten one fire and one blizzard here. Mm, I, that's not that great. Wait. Raise. There we go. Holy. That's pretty good. Was it? You have to clear out all the rooms. This is the only dungeon where you have to do that, too, I think. You actually can't skip any enemies here. Gigas Lord. He's pissed because I killed all of his chefs. Like, I think he's rightfully upset at this point. What? Maggie. Oh, uh, he recovered. Okay. Where's Maggie? I gotta kill her first, I guess. Oh, did I defeat her, maybe, already? Okay. That doesn't do 
do a lot of damage. I feel like magic in this game is less for damage and more for, like, weakness exploitation. Because... I, I love- I didn't even kill him, he just runs away, because he's so upset. I could have probably just gone in here and gotten the strip without bothering him or anyone else. But yeah, I feel like the magic in this game is, is used a little differently because it all has its own effect. Like, Holy is good against Undead, Gravity is good against Flying Enemies. It's like, you know, like every Final Fantasy game, but at the same time, it doesn't seem to do a lot of damage otherwise to anyone else. And the fact of the matter is you can only fuse the highest version of a spell with, like, the main elements. Like, you could get Thundaga, uh, Firaga, and, uh, Blizzara, Blizzaga. In single player, but like Kiraga, uh, Re Raise, all clear and stuff like that. That's multiplayer only, which admittedly isn't that bad because most of that stuff is multi character, and single player obviously doesn't have multiple characters. But uh, there's definitely a few spots where it's like the like the holy, the upgrade for holy is only you can only do that in multiplayer, and that's because uh, Magic Fusion actually works differently in multiplayer. Uh, in single player, you can fuse slots together, whereas in multiplayer, uh, you and your friend have to just use the magic on the same spot to have it fuse. So you don't get any sort of permanent upgraded upgrade for it. Here you go, Capo. Oh, a letter from my other brother. I got scolded. Since round corn bounces so well, I was having fun kicking one around. That, but then mother came out of nowhere and slapped me on the head. Isn't she terrible? She's terrible. Don't play with your food. Don't play with your food. Send item. Well, they apparently already planted the seeds, so I can't send them anymore. Let me send them uh, a star carrot. Got your reply, Capo. So long, Capo. Oh, it's the end of the year. Shit. Completely forgot. That's my third dungeon. I don't know how bonus points work. I know it's a multiplayer thing, but I don't know what they grant you for, for getting them. Flame Tongue, Rune Staff. Can't grate that. Can't take that. Can't take that. Buckler. Defense. So I guess the best choice would be the Flame Tongue, just because it gives me two strength. Everything else is plus one. So the way, again, the way the um, relics work is when you grab them in a dungeon, they'll affect you. But when you leave, you can only take one with you permanently. And once you have it, you can never get that one again. Like, you could grab it in a dungeon and get it temporarily, but you can't permanently get it. So it's kind of almost like a roguelike, in a way, but, like, not really. Anyway, I'm not going to sit through this whole thing, but I will watch the uh, ceremony and one loop of the, uh, of the celebration, and then I'll fast-forward it. I have four characters now instead of two. Time to add another two characters to my caravan.
pretty good. I think we could probably, well, I don't know. I'm going to only stream for another 80 minutes or so. We could probably get most of the way through year three or part of the way through it. I think I still have to go to new areas because I don't think the trees regenerate until three years have passed. And since I did everything on year one and two, that means years four and five are when it'll be back to normal. It's really weird because it's worth making eight characters just to have the town be full. But yet it doesn't, it also doesn't, like, all you have to do is go through the menu eight times. that I got two articles regarding Flan, like, in a row. Oh yeah, I love the Moogles in this game too. They all wear, like, uh, little form-fitting sweaters. Except for Mog. Mog's an exhibitionist. So ends the second year of my caravan. My asthma hindered my steps, and monsters struck at me from behind. Still, I'll always look back fondly on the warm smiles that greeted me in villages I visited. And it was always a joy to meet other caravans on the long, lonely road. I hope I see them again next year. Year three. I think once the third year... Okay, so we got... So we, I need wind, and then fire, and then water. And I'm pretty sure all the dungeons in these three sections are tapped out now. I can't get myrrh from them. River Bell. Oh no, River Bell Path has two uh, things now. So does the Mushroom Forest. But uh, the mine doesn't yet. Here's the question do I head to those or do I go ahead? Oddly enough, the third dungeon I did in year one is still out. No, I heard that the sailor Tristan has returned. I reckon he'll ferry you across the Jigon River for a price. Now then. That that hum you hear is the uh is the crystal. Our crystal is actually very small compared to other towns. Hello there. Say, thanks for helping Melody out. Can I make you an accessory or something? Oh! If you have more characters, they just straight up give you uh, more facilities here, huh? Interesting. Yet nothing he- oh, he can only make accessories, huh? Okay. Oh look, my tree's grown. You're back. Oh, you're home. You must have lots of stories to tell. Welcome back. 
We've got some star carrots. I'll take some. Nice. Welcome back. Oh, one more. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid we're out of star carrots. Oh. So Zod, it's time to set out, is it? Well, it's not much, but take this. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Thanks to you, we've grown some rainbow grapes. I have not used those items at all. Mind your health while you're out on the road here. You know. I hope Nick is making himself useful. Tell him that his sister is thinking about him. I was going to bake some bread and then, um, what was I going to do with it? Why, if it isn't Zai from Nick's caravan. How have you been? Let's see, what was I about to do? Oh dear, I forgot to do the shopping. Shopping, you're fisherman. Those the onion kids I keep hearing about? No, they're uh they're lilties. Uh th there's like four unique races to this game. Clavots, which are like humans, Ukes, which are bird people with helmets like me. Uh Lilties, which are like little they're they're kinda like onion people. And then you have Selkies, which are uh they're like Koga from, from Inuyasha. Just because I know, I know you'll love that, uh, you'll that reference. Welcome to the fields of Birdville. I didn't... Interesting, I never saw that sign before. Can't read it from this side. They're like wolf people. Not really, though. They just kind of have, like, they just kind of have, like, a few, like, characteristics of them. But they're not really. They look more like humans. Wait, whoa, 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 what was this? I got an A here. What? What's this? Oh, okay. They really need to make the range of, uh, examining a little bigger. Now you want to get this? I'll show you. Uh, hold on. I can't do it here just because I'm in a village. The menu system in this is a little clunky because they didn't really change it from the GameCube version. And also because the game came out on uh, mobile phones, so they kind of have to keep the menus like... They can't have too much on one menu, otherwise the mobile phone version wouldn't work right. Because it'd be too cluttered. this away. I don't need it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Am I wearing the bronze armor? No, I'm wearing the iron armor. Right, I should put this away. As far as I could tell, there's nothing I can do with old armor aside from just destroy it. You can't sell it. Destroying it just gets rid of it. And you could just get a ton of uh, blueprints for these uh, weapons. Also, I could deposit gill, which isn't really useful because I feel like you don't lose gill when you die, so. The only thing that's really helpful is that if you want to transfer items to another character, you could put them in there and then they could take it out. Am I going to get a cutscene? So happy to see you off begin your uh, I'm so happy to see you off as you begin your third year. Wasn't sure I'd live long enough. Last year I told you of the youth who ran off in hopes of purging my asthma from the world. 
He was a scholarly lad. Even from his childhood days, he always loved his research. He was especially absorbed in the study of an element that rules the other four, earth, water, wind, and fire. Perhaps he found clues as he passed through the miasma stream, for he claimed that this element was the key to saving the world. No, that is a story for another time. Forgive my rambling. You'd best focus on more important things. Remember, come safely back to Birdville. Farewell. It's Tipa Village by default. You can name the town. So I named it Birdville. So the second... Wait, I gotta go back one. Today I paid a visit to Moshet Manor. I felt small in the mushroom forest, but here I'm like an ant. I met the Gigas Master and his Lamia wife, together with their Tonberry chefs. I almost felt sorry for the chaos I brought into their home. Perhaps I should have knocked. Probably gonna get an event right away. Yep. I think you always get an event the second you leave for, the, for a new year. Oh, I think this is Amadati's theme. Listen up. Our next job is. Oh no, this is the old thief. Oh, that's a good one. You're the best, boss. Whoa, when did you get here? You've been eavesdropping. You're quite talented. Hey, whose side are you on? Vengeance? Murder? Not us. We don't do dirty work. That's right. Killing is so cowardly. No, you fool. All we care about is treasure. <sighs> Most of the time, that means food. Quiet. At any rate, we don't take lives. After all, you can't make money killing people. I mean, you could take the money off their bodies. If lives were worth something, I'd sell my own right away. My, my gosh, my guy. To take their money leaves a bad aftertaste. Okay, well, there you go. Don't know where you heard that, but tell them not to spread such ugly rumors. So yeah, you randomly will run into story beats on the, uh, on the road. There's a bunch of different stories. The diary actually splits each uh, story up by section so you could kind of keep up with each one. Uh, you're not required to finish all of them to finish the game, though the more of them that you witness, uh, the better off you are t later on towards the end. Stripes don't kill. I spotted the striped brigands by the main road. I recently heard they'd killed a man, so I asked them for the truth. They claim that they never take lives. As I've talked with them, I realize they are good people at heart. I think I could trust them. So, like, see, I have 23 out of 999 memories in the corner. That does play a part much later, but it's it's kind of super spoilerish, and I don't want to get into it. So I've I've witnessed the beginning of all but five, six stories here. So there's latest entry, this uh, documents dungeons and towns, and then everything else is like. Actually, I think collecting myrrh is, um, yeah, collecting myrrh is the caravan travel. And then you have, like, the Black Knight story, caravan, monsters, materials, stripe brigands, Altafuria, uh, Alphateria, caravan, monsters, weaknesses. Monsters. Oh, so this is, like, whenever I run into a caravan that tells me about, uh, like, what, how to kill an enemy. That'll go here. Oh, you could read character profiles, too. What the hell? Amadati, weird even by Yuke standards. His anachronistic language and over-the-top reactions can be charming. His girlfriend back home also thinks he's weird. Short-tempered despite an even-keeled exterior, seemingly rare for Yukes. Renowned for her wealth of knowledge, her presence adds to the inquisitiveness of the caravan. Supplements Amadati's words to lead them to concrete conclusions. I had no idea you can, like, look at people's, uh... Ah, yes. Abandons his pride so to rely on Hana in critical moments. Volunteer for caravan duty so others wouldn't have to put their lives on the line. Hard-nosed big sister type. Frequently loses her cool and bickers with Dayas. Has a soul for rhythm. Her roadside dances are unforgettable. K 
caravan leader, painfully traditional but dutiful and forthright. His familial piety comes from his alt alphatarian father. Oof. Alan Guile, frequent butt of jokes due to his inarticulate nature. In battle, he marshals troops as in second in command. Calming component of the caravan, his pa he pa his patois belies his a nimble wit. His patois uh, dislikes battle though. Seasoned veteran and the eldest of the caravan, but unsuited for leadership. Longtime friend of Soul Wat Soul Rot. Possesses a single-minded disdain for country folk, put him, putting him often at odds with Mars Pass Caravan. Joined the same time as Alan. Oh, I guess they all take place with the same amount of people. Caravan leader with a personality like a foreman. Hot-blooded and short-fused, but talks straight and doesn't hold a grudge. I have a thing to mimic this character. A craftsman to the end. Has a bit of a foul mouth, but enjoys chatting with travelers. His emotions come out in a fight. Has a keen eye for both materials and monsters. Strong-willed, but hates caterpillars. Always concerned about her hair. Wait, are these the same? Yeah, I think they are. Don't let his pretty face fool you. He's got rocky muscles and an attitude to match. He's also pretty naive and prone to stage fright with a sentimental side. Join the brigands to keep an eye on Baldot as a favor to Ball's father. Though often doddering, he can snap into action when it counts. Artemisian. Though quite cunning, his disarming cuteness and childlike romanticism makes, him ev makes everyone want to adopt him. Maybe. Used to carry letters. Uh, there's a... Uh... Interesting. Papalpamus. Oh, this is the thing that I said they don't have chocobos for. A faithful beast of burden pulling along the caravan's goods. Smart and obedient, this indisposable companion ensures long journeys move smoothly. This Moogle has been far and wide, seeking out the meaning to the existence of his kind. Knows the world better than most. Old buddy of Artemisian. He is, uh, voiced by my buddy, Sean. Latest entry. Okay. Cool. Well, I didn't know about that. Uh... Here, you want to see the... Th this is one of them. Uh, I, I made them... Uh, I based them after my girlfriend. So you have uh, you have the Ukes, the Lilites, which are like the little people, the Clavats, which are the humans, and the Selkies, which are the wolf people. Uh, I will make a male Selkie. So you can only make one of each design, so I can't make another female... Uh, with the eye patch, but I can make a male with wolfie or shark eyes, bandana, raccoon tail, which I don't think you can rotate to see. Bad bunny. That one has the most like Kogo-like appearance to him. Uh, you get to pick a job for each character you make. Um, each job corresponds to a house in town, and I believe it also unlocks stuff in town. So it's worth, um, it's worth trying to fill out all of them. Not trying, I mean, you, again, it's really easy. You can make all eight characters from the get-go. So I don't know why, uh, it, it's kind of a weird system. Farmer, rancher, blacksmith. Or merchant. Well, I picked Fisher for the other one, so I should do uh, merchant maybe. And since I need a name, I'll just use yours. <laughs> Okay. 
and then you get the, a little like story beat before they join your caravan, and then they're just in your caravan, and you can use them in dungeons. The day has come. Every single one of us looks forward to the coming of Myr. Not just the Myr, of course. We'll count the days until your return. If you find any le letters, items, or of exotic or valuable nature, tuck them into an envelope and send them our way. I want to go traveling, too. You know, I just realized I did the same thing I did with the last one. We all pray for your safe return. Take care. I didn't name the character the proper way, because, um... Selkies are supposed to have two segmented names. Izzy, the merchant's son, is sent off by his father, Bidada, his mother, Sasura, Sashura, his brother, Ganu, and his sister, Salana. And that's all the story you get for them. Then they're in your caravan, and then that's just it. And you get letters from your family, and you could, like, build a relationship with them, and, and it's, it's pretty nice. It's an open-ended story game, but I'm gonna fix, uh... I, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with, with the other Selkie I made, because I named the other Selkie Nessie. And uh, I split it into two. So I'm gonna just redo that real quick. Right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Deleting characters takes forever, though. You have to hold down the A button for, like, 20 seconds. So I'm really annoyed that I made the same mistake twice. Here we go. This at least looks like uh, a name. Though, though having three Z's in a row is kind of weird. But whatever. There, now you actually fit in with the tribe. Suddenly, you have a, diff a partially different family. Yeah, GM is different. And Salana. So you have different siblings. I think it's possible to make, um... Five... It's, well, because there's just five designs. So you can make five of the same car uh, race and gender. But if you want, like, you could just have eight of them. Like four of four male, four female. I don't really think there's a big difference between them. It just changes a few aesthetic things, really. So anyway, now I have five characters. Let's make uh, one more. Let's do. Male Clavat. Him after my brother. Yeah, you would definitely go natural. That kind of looks... Actually, no. Kala kind of looks more like a... And my brother would choose his character. That's like the generic character. That's like the guy in the box art. Go natural. Why wouldn't you just use the same character throughout the whole game? You know what? That's a good question, because I'm only using Zai. I'm not using Fire. any of the other characters. Blizzard. Fire. Blizzard. Uh, definitely picking Blacksmith from right for his, his story. Thank you. 
there. And I have one character of each race and gender, so I'll have all four races and all and both genders present. Because there's only two options in this game. Today you finally step out into the world in search of Mur. You come safely back to Bur you come safely back to Birdville, alright? Should you find any materials for smithing, bring them back to us. We'll forge you a fine weapon. We'll miss you. <laughs> if you make any friends out there, be sure to bring them around. Wow, that voice uh, is way too old for that kid. Be sure to eat well. Mark, the blacksmith's son, is sent off by his father, Santana, his mother, Sharon, his sister, Davia, and his brother, Samuel. Before I do anything, let me head back here, get those two characters there, DLC weapons, assuming that everyone gets them. I thought it was just you get one set of both, and you just deposit the ones you want to give to the other people, but I think it's actually just every character gets the two that they can use when you, whenever you make one. Oh god, that run cycle. Yep, okay. Mod Caliber. Apocalypse. I'll definitely use the Apocalypse. It's like he's just asking to fall on his face. Get uh, your character, your weapons. It's worth making all of them just because then the village is nice and full. And like whenever you have the celebration, there's like a ton of people there. Koopa Racket, Punishment. I mean, the Selkies use rackets for some reason. I don't know why. Like, tennis rackets for weapons. Swindler to me. I've had enough of your tales. We part ways here. <laughs> no, don't leave me behind. How am I supposed to survive out here alone? Please, you shouldn't joke about such things. Who is this Who's dude? Joking. You better go find your island before the miasma gets you. Oh, come now. Let's change the subject. You're starting to sound like you're serious. <laughs> Serious. Oh. Well then, enough of the island paradise. Have I told you of the legendary treasure hidden beneath the desert? Dude, just that digging that hole deeper. We leave him. Oh, come now. 
I say. Yeah, we'll help him. Don't believe a word he says. Now that was uncalled for. What about all our adventures together? My name is Gertie. Hurdy Gertie. I doubt we'll meet again, but let me walk with you until another caravan comes by. Say, how about a poem? Oh God, no, please. Lightning brings the cactus pain. Now it all begins again. All right, I'm sure that's important, so I should Was probably remember that. Or thunder? Oh well, they're practically the same thing. It shouldn't matter. I do believe it's also that some storylines don't start until a certain time has passed. With Mars Pass. I wonder why anyone would actually want to travel into Miasma. Today I met a stranger named Gertie who was nearly killed by the caravan from Mars Pass. Lightning brings the cactus pain, now it all begins again. I'm not quite sure what the verse means, but I think he recited it to me as thanks. Gertie the Swindler. Okay, so it takes two years for the uh, trees to regenerate. So this one is level two now, apparently. And I can switch my element. But before I do that, let's... Um... Oh my god, really? Okay. monster attacked us from behind. We barely survived the encounter. So, do take care to watch your back. Like how that line was not at all what's typed Remember, out there. You journey not for yourself alone, but for everyone in your village. Their lives depend on your safe return with Mur. Yeah. Yeah. Today I learned to flan, again, for the third time. The gelatinous bodies have no arms or legs. Yeah, I know. They attack by coiling up their bodies and springing at foes in a ferocious headbutt. They also spit a sticky acid substance that, uh, from their gaping mouths. Though this acid lacks the power to melt weapons or armor, it can restrict the victim's movement. Yeah, how many times are they gonna teach me about flan? Dude's not here. But they said Jurgen was back. All 
Alright, wait. Open the world map. I need wind, fire, and then water. No, no. Uh, the directions in this are really weird. Robbing people. Are you speechless with emotion, Capo? No, he's no, asleep. We're dumbfounded by your stupidity. They're here. Places you two. Like, you no. are not getting past me. Moogles are too cute to hurt, Capo. Come on, hand it over. We've got you surrounded. So he became a star. Big time. Ha <laughs> ha! Taught him a little lesson. Striped brigands suddenly appeared and surrounded the caravan. They demanded I leave behind all my valuables. Undaunted, I decided to charge their blockade. Sorry I ran you over, little Moogle. I had a feeling you'd survive. Cold-hearted. I keep hitting B like I'm supposed to go back to the menu. I don't want to go to any level 3 or level 2 dungeons yet. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or go to further into the game yet. Same sections here. I need fire to go ahead. Dungeons randomized? No. Um, they're set dungeons. Some of them don't appear until a certain point. Uh, but each dungeon has multiple variations. When you beat one, uh, the tree won't regenerate for at least two years. And once the tree regenerates, the dungeon gets harder. Like, if I open the world map here, you can see that there's two moons above the mushroom forest, and one above the mine. Because I did the mine at the end of year one, and the other, the other two dungeons at the beginning of year one. So I guess that means it upgraded. Meanwhile, these two have not upgraded, and the second dungeon in both of these sections have not upgraded. 
But I want to see if I can move ahead. I mean, I should because there's only two dungeons that I could go to down here right now that'll give me myrrh. And you need three to end the year. Other side, nowhere, thanks. It'll cost you 50 gil per head. Whoa. Alright, that's gonna be a lot of money. The other side, I wonder where that takes me. Where to? Oh. Alright. Taking her about, so all aboard. I thought you could choose a bunch of different ports to go to. Also, this game does that thing where the reflection behind the uh, boat is, like, still distorted. Couldn't they just build a bridge? Why do they have to use the boat? Here, left at the Plains of Fum. Oh. 50 gil for that. Yeah, I know. Right, time to get a Moogle stamp. Okay, it's one of the bottom ones. on the world map now. Oh, we're on the Plains of Fum. So wait, what happens if I take the, um, Miasma Cave over there, though? Damon's Court Sepilation, Celepation Cave. See, now I'm curious as to what's up there, because there's clearly a, uh, Miasma Stream over there. And it looks like there's only one way out of this area. Earth is needed to go ahead. Sell a patient cave. It's probably a town up here. Fields of Fum. Set off and see the lands beyond our borders once again. In our younger days, we travel the world with a caravan too. In our younger days, yes, we traveled together in a caravan long ago. That's what brought us together. Yes. Hmm? Oh, wow! I just randomly found an item. Nice. You 
find a Moogle house. Yes, let's go. More stamps, please. That's a two. There's another one for that one. cows. Why, it's so peaceful out here. I would love to retire in a place like this. What? The people here have nothing. Nothing at all. What boring wives they must lead. Hi. My brothers and I will catch that thief. Yep. We're going to catch the apple thief ourselves. Hi. What apple thief? I can't stand this backwater province. There's nothing like the thrill of city life. My wife insists that the city is better, but I think she'll, she'll open her heart to country life one day. There's a fellow who's grown fat recently, but no one could get that fat on apples alone. crystal. Okay. Catch the thief! Catch the thief! Okay. <laughs> the court at Alphateria has sent me out here to patrol this village. But you know I've really fattened up on the delicious apples they've grown here. <laughs> Put everything we got into raising our crops. I hope folks really enjoy them. <laughs> Selling my crops, seeing my crops grow taller each day. I feel like I'm raising children. Good day. My family's fields have been passed down for so many generations now. They're like an heirloom. Good day. Hmm. I've grown so forgetful lately. Too much work, maybe. Hey. Our crops sustain people all over the world. Isn't that just amazing? Both my sisters work very hard. They're a big help to me. Hello. Oh. Hello, it's so peaceful out here that I can't relax at all. What'll it be? Uh, same stuff you sell everywhere. Sell everything but the stuff I can't sell. It really... Like, I feel like there's no point to, to shops in this game at all. I'm sure that'll change eventually, but right now it's like... There's absolutely nothing for me. Yeah. Ah, cool breeze spin the windmill. Where could they come from? Cool breezes. Whoops. Yeah. Ah, the sky is so lovely. I wonder how far it stretches. If only we could see it without my asthma. Yeah. My memory's been foggy lately, but I still remember the names of all my cows. Day. Morris Ranch's cow races are fun. They're the pride of fun. Place a bet of a hundred gill on your favorite cow. Everyone here loves it. What do you say? I say that sounds like a scam to me. They got, like, beards. <laughs> Say, can I interest you in one of our cows? My husband is too attached to sell them himself. You can have one cow for 500 gil. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I'll send the animal straight to your home. My husband works hard, but he never thinks of anything except his cows. Cool. Well, now Tipa Village has a cow, or Birdville. It's your lucky day. What do you say? Which will you choose? Oh, I see. I see what we gotta do here. Let's go number five. One and five. Ready? Go! And they're off! Who will take the lead? I don't remember this at all, and this is really funny. Oh shit. Second, third, and fourth are close behind. Rest are gaining with this girl bringing up the rear. It's a close race. Incredible. Yeah, quick use roll out. Defense curl, roll out. Oh my god, really? This game is very much designed to eat up time. Are you kidding me? Second, third, and fourth are still in the running. Oh my god, this is this is a troll level. Are closing in, but two seem to be trailing. This is troll level bullshit right here. It's a close race. Tips. The odds next to the cow's number is not reliable. Betting on a cow based on odds next to it is generally unreliable as the outcome is completely random. Choose any cow you like as it will not matter much. Other than the minigame, you can also talk to an NPC Malou to buy livestock. Sending a cow to your family can cultivate your relationship with your father. That's good. So literally all it was is you bet and then you win Gil if they win. Cool. Well, we're done. No, I think I'm good, actually. I've learned my lesson. I'm happy with the cow that I bought. You must have traveled far. Why not some try some delicious? Why not try some delicious produce from the fields of fum? Mm, that's some produce, all right. Worm antenna, 500 gil. Wow. If I didn't know, I if I knew I didn't need that, I'd sell it. A traveler, are you? Welcome to the fields of fun. You don't have much, but enjoy your stay. Not that there's much to enjoy. A traveler. Let me check the top floor of the Moogle House. I know it's pointless, but I want to do it anyway, just to be thorough. Nice. 
nothing. Got it. New diary entry. The Fields of Fum. It is said that Clavats worked tirelessly to cultivate this land, but it is also said that Yukes irrigated this land and that the main road was built by Lotis long ago. This place truly demonstrates the potential of peace. Meanwhile, Selkie's just been robbed the place blind. Damon's Court. Oh, there's no element here. It's just a tree. My asthma stream. So that's what happens if you don't have the right element. And it changes every year, so you need to have, be, you need to have access to it. Um, which is interesting, because this part of the world map doesn't have all four types accessible. So you need to get it somewhere else and then just carry it over here, apparently. Because Damon's Court doesn't have any uh, elements, and that thing down there only has one or two. Uh... really wanted to see what that miasma stream leads to up there, since clearly it doesn't lead to here. Maybe I'll do that instead of do another dungeon, because it is getting kind of late. If it leads to somewhere neat, I'll uh, check it out. I think it's only 50 gil. I don't think it's per person. Classifying living beings as different things, it's really not. Want to know the elements of the mind? No. All that does is pull up the world map. And yeah, these change every year, so you need to make sure you have the right element when heading into it.
Veil of Alphataria. I need water. It would be, uh... Probably over here. Not hitting a lot of, uh... Random, uh, events now. Is my, is my diligence going to be rewarded, or am I going to hit a dead end? Veil Lu. Oh, there's just another region up here, huh? One dungeon, one town. Veil Lu Sluis. Alright, well, well, we'll aim here, because then I could do... I could go back down here and do those two for two and three. And then, uh, I'm assuming after that I'm kind of, well, I could keep going forward, but I don't know what's over there. There's no cave over here, though. This is a dead end. Shella. The world map is giving to some serious autumn vibes. Yeah, same. It's also it's also because the world is kind of dying due to the miasma. But looking at the map makes me excited for uh, fall. Honestly, <laughs> watch. He's so awesome. Do you wish to cross? Do you? Just a moment. Welcome back, friend from afar. Allow me to raise the bridge. Enter in peace, friend. I have never been more excited for summer to be over. I just... This summer was just a huge waste, and it's like... I'm really just... I want the nice cold weather to be around so people don't go outside, and then I can go outside. Oh. Hello, come in. Have a look. Strange liquid. Shella Mark. A talisman required for entry into the village of Shella. Okay, why not? Our village enjoys great peace, thanks to our elder. But it's ironic that he's always outside the village, don't you think? Welcome back. Welcome back, brave soul. Welcome back to the ancient home of wisdom. What can I do for you? Oh, I see what's going on here. Only yukes are allowed into this town. I'm assuming everyone else uh, has to buy the pendant. What'll it be? Design... Oh, look at this. Oh, these are all new things here. This summer was just way too hot. Yeah. This is all stuff I don't have yet. I've been hearing of a black knight. Talk these days is filled with dark tidings. I wonder if there's villages like that for the other three races. Hello, Bo. Bo. Oh! Congratulations, Gabo. Fantastic, Koopo! You've got matching stamps. Here's a free memory crystal, Koopo. Bessamzen's crystal. No. Hello, Bob. 
Oh, nice. So I can be that character now. Yeah, I'm this dude now. Sorta. It's just a way of looking like the other characters. I don't think it actually affects anything. And it also doesn't work when you're actually in the overworld. Hello. Have you ever met Denon? He's so smart. Hello. Some people make fun of Denon just because he's a selkie. They say he can't possibly solve riddles that Yukes have never found the answer to. Hello. Some people make fun of... Okay. Today I have no memory of yesterday. Tomorrow I'll have no memory of today. Lastly, who are you? Hello. I am thinking. Thinking round and round and round. <laughs> We've been poring over an ancient Selkic text that we recovered. Hello. It seems that in ancient times there was once a giant crystal. Hmm. But a meteor plummeted from the sky and shattered the crystal to pieces. It follows that the crystals in the towns and villages across the land are merely shards. But can you imagine how colossal that great crystal must have been? Hmm. With the meteor came miasma. It eventually spread to every corner of the world. Hmm. Monsters began to appear a century after the miasma did. Hmm. A century? It's odd, isn't it? Could the monsters and the meteor be connected somehow? Perhaps the meteor carried them here in eggs or cocoons. Quite a mystery indeed. I could summarize all that again if you'd like. Hello. Alright, so we got some something of a lore dump there. Uh, there was a meteor. Miasma showed up. Crystals. Monsters. Path of magical arts has no end. Learn one truth and, um, forget two. Eh? Oh. A Selkie is conducting research at the edge of town. He seems to have an extraordinary goal in mind, but I wonder if he can achieve it. Oh. Hmm. Magic requires decades of study. I have many years of study remaining. A blacksmith. Different tribe. Oh, you can't craft unless you have the tribe available. Yeah. What? You never seen a selkie study magic before? Listen here. There isn't much to my research. Many people have thought about doing it, but so far nobody has been able to accomplish what I have. Hey. What do you think? I think you're doing great. Liar, you don't know a thing about my research. Hey. Listen, I'm working on a way to travel without a crystal. Listen here. Everyone wants to see the world outside, so travel freely without fear, right? You understand? This sounds very poignant right now. Well, if I succeed, we'll be able to live our lives without depending on crystals. <laughs> we wouldn't need to send out crystal caravans anymore. That would be one less hardship in the world, right? Here. You can watch, but don't interfere with my research. Listen here. Uh, so if I recall correctly, uh, this dude's story does not end very well. There's kind of... It's kind of all behind the scenes, and you get a side quest, and uh, the side quest ends in a, in a rather uh, not good way. Needn't worry. I make the bridge vanish until you're safely back. <laughs> Those kinds of stories uh, rarely do. Yeah. 
Told you, isn't he awesome? Alright, well, new diary entry. Shella, Citadel of the Ukes. There's a slight chill in the air, and I find it hard to believe that Birdville and Shella are really part of the same world. They say that Ukes dress in strange ways to maximize their magical abilities. Someone once said that they have no bodies, only souls. Ukes are a mysterious people indeed, I say, as a Uke myself, writing this article. How odd. I definitely do not have the time to do another dungeon. Fail, Luce Lewis. Mm, no, because I'm gonna stop. I would. I was gonna stop in like eight minutes. It's been over two hours, so I've streamed what about five hours total today, which makes up for missing a stream and also finishing up the part stream I did the other day when it came out. Uh, let me check. How much did I do earlier today? 2.30. No, sorry, 2.49, 2.50. And it's been 2.15, so yeah, I've hit over 5 hours at this point. I think I'm going to stop here. I'll probably get back to this tomorrow if I don't do Mr. Driller. And if I'm up for streaming, which I should be because I really want to play this game more. But, uh, yeah, I will do this dungeon. Let's see what other goodies I can get. Oh yeah, I have to worry about the cow too. I'm gonna look for that next when the year ends. Seven hours, twenty-one minutes. I've also fucked around a lot on the map though. All right, I'm technically mimicking a character right now, aren't I? Yeah. Doing pretty good, though. All things considered. Yeah. I'm done. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it a lot. I always do, really. Thank you. Thank you for subbing, too, Izzy. I always appreciate that. Um, if anyone's watching that wants to watch more streams, try check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. There's plenty of people on that team streaming right now. Uh, doesn't look like I really have enough people to do a raid, but, uh, yeah, check them out. There's plenty of people streaming. I'm sure, uh, you can find someone playing something cool. Uh, you all have a good night. You too, Izzy. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow, maybe, hopefully. Good night.